Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing my 2023 uh, top 10s as we are going to look at my number six featherweight in the world right now, the undefeated WBC featherweight champion of the world, Ray Vargas of Mexico. Now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So Ray Vargas, the uh, former or the the current featherweight champion, <clears throat> uh, did not fight. Well, he entered the year um, actually number two in the division. He was coming off of a year where he came in and and would defeat Mark Maxayo by a split decision to capture the belt. It was kind of a wide open division at the time, and um, based on his you know previous uh, record. And, uh, you know, resume at 122 pounds, being champion for a long time, and then beating Maxile, which at that time, last year, was a big deal because Maxile had defeated Gary Russell Jr. So pulling off that win was a big deal. Um, but he drops four spots to number six this year because he never defended the WBC title in 2023. In February, he moved up uh, to 130 and challenged for the vacant 130 pound title against Oshaki Foster and suffered the first loss of his career losing a, a unanimous decision to Foster as Vargas tried to become a three division world champion um, and following that you know there was a couple uh, lined up dates for um, projected dates for him to make a mandatory defense of his belt against undefeated WB uh, well against um, WBC interim champion Brandon Figueroa but that fight never materialized and um, that fight still is not, you know, in the book. So Vargas right now, we know if he's planning on holding on to the WBC title, he has to fight <clears throat> Brandon Figueroa next in a mandatory fight. It's an easy fight to make because both fighters are with the PBC. It's a big fight for both fighters. So um, I'm not really understanding why it's taking so long for this fight to be put together. But Figueroa and, um, and or well, Vargas better figure it out because he's um, now uh, 33 years old. He's 36 and one with uh, 22 knockouts. <clears throat> and, um, you know, he needs to get back on the grind and try to pull out this victory against Brandon Figueroa because it's not going to be easy. I personally think if they fight, I, I'm picking Figueroa to pull out the win. But um, Vargas, I think, is a highly skilled fighter. He's, he's a good fighter, and I think um, 126 is the max he can fight at, and I think, uh, I, I do believe he's he can he can win against Figueroa, or at least make it close and keep himself highly competitive, but a loss would be tough on him because um, his inactivity the last couple years, and then also his, um, you know, he hasn't really, outside of Max Sile, hasn't beat a lot of big name opponents the last few years either, and um you know, but to his credit, he's been a champion or fighting in championship fights for the better part of seven years now between 122 and 126, but he's starting to fade in terms of, of inactivity and, and everything, so he needs to get back on the grind and fight uh, fight Brandon Figueroa and see how things go. But I personally think he's going to lose that fight. Um, if he loses a second consecutive fight, and depending on how he loses, he might not fight the rest of the year, so... Um, I do believe it's going to be competitive even if he does lose. So I do believe he'll still stick in the top 10 by the end of the year. But um, he's got to go out and fight him. And if he's victorious, he's really going to be, um, you know, sitting at the top, towards the top of the division. Because a win over Figueroa does mean a lot. So um, the opportunity is there for him to really... Uh, make his mark, uh, reestablish his mark on the division with a win over Brandon Figueroa. But hopefully that fight gets set up soon now that the PBC is with Amazon Prime. Hopefully that fight gets set up for the first quarter of the year and we can see these two guys uh, slug it out for the WBC featherweight title. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my um, 2023 top 10 on my number six featherweight in the world right now. The the reigning WBC featherweight champion, Ray Vargas of Mexico. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.